everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. Um, I am out here in our new garden area that we got ready a couple weeks ago, and I am still working on getting this planted with all of our transplants and seeds and all that. So I'm getting a little on the late side because it is getting um, closer to fall and I'm plant, trying to plant some cool season crops. So hopefully we can squeeze these in before we have our first freeze. So today I'm gonna be transplanting some cauliflower and I love cauliflower um, just because it is so, um, I mean, so versatile. I love using cauliflower in the kitchen. Um, I mean, cauliflower mashed potatoes, who doesn't love that? So um, I'm just super excited to hopefully have some cauliflower before uh, winter hits. So this version of cauliflower that we got is a snow crown version. It was just the type that our local nursery had available for transplants. I wanted to get a jump start since I'm starting these a little bit late um, for our area. So I wanted to go ahead and start them um, as transplants so that way I get a head start on the season. So cauliflower is a cool season crop and it will do well with uh, cooler temperatures, but it will not tolerate a freeze very well. Um, it'll tolerate a light freeze. Um, so anything above like 28 ish around there, it'll be okay. Um, but I mean, again, no, no, it doesn't do really well with any freezes. So if you're going to have an early freeze, make sure that you try and either move it indoors or cover it, try and protect it in some way. Um, that's one reason why I really love these smart pots and I plant a lot of things in these because I can just pick these up and take them into our garage or take them inside and put them in there if we ever have any severe, you know, severe weather coming or any, you know, freezes or anything like that. It just makes it so much easier to have a movable plant for that. And if you haven't checked out these smart pots, definitely do. We love them. We were a little leery of them when we first started, but they have done so well for us. We've been planting in like pretty much nothing else but these for a while now, and they have worked so well. So, um, so much so that we actually sell them in our online store now. And uh, so check that out at store.seedtospoon.net. So I love growing and eating cauliflower because it is so healthy for you and it tastes great too. I love making mashed potatoes and rice and things like that. Um, and I mean, you can even also just steam it and top it with cheese, makes the kids really like it. <laughs> um, but I love doing that. It's also really healthy for you. Um, it helps, um, I mean, there, it has a lot of vitamins in it and it'll help with like heart disease and weight loss and all of that. So um, if you haven't checked out our free app, check out our app at the very top, it'll give a detail detailed, um, you know, it'll show a bunch of different pictures of what types of things that this plant's good for. And if you click on it, it'll give you a little bit more explanation about, about that health, um, health benefit for it. So check that out. So whenever I'm planting cauliflower, it's one that you're going to do one per square foot, um, for square foot gardening. And I use at least a size like seven gallon smart pot, preferably a 10 gallon smart pot. Um, really the bigger, the better, cause it gives the plant a lot more space to expand and, um, have their roots out. Um, so it just makes for a healthier plant if you have a larger smart pot. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through with my soil knife. I've already kind of broken up the soil, but I always I always use the soil knife also just to dig around and make sure there's no big clumps, um, no roots left over from the last season, um, like large roots or old labels too. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through, um, pull out anything that I don't want in there, and then um, and then I will dig a hole and get my transplant in there. And whenever you uh, pull these up, if they're root bound, you want to make sure that you break these roots just a little bit, um, just to make sure that they uh, they can expand and start to take over this whole whole area. It'll make for a much healthier plant. Okay, I'm gonna put that right in here, and then. I'm going to make sure that I water this plant real good because this outside is a little bit dry. So I want to make sure that I give this some plenty of water, especially for the next couple days, just to make sure that it establishes itself really well. Um, and then I want to make sure that I never let it dry out whenever um, I'm growing this throughout the season. 
So you want to keep cauliflower at least in some part sun to a full sun area. As long as it gets about six hours of sun a day, it should be good. And then just keep it moist and you're good. In about two to three months, you should be able to harvest your full head of cauliflower. So I have been planting quite a few brassica families um, the past couple days. So I have some areas of broccoli and um, let's see, I've planted broccoli, cabbage, things like that. So I just want to make sure that I put this in just a little bit away from those ones. I'm, I just try to separate similar type plants that are in the same family. Um, just because if a pest does find them, they will find all of them. So I try to at least have one different plant in the middle of them um, just to kind of help disguise it a little bit, um, maybe an herb. I actually am I'm growing some Swiss chard also. So Swiss chard is really good. I, I put some Swiss chard in between this one and I'll, I'll put it in between this one and the broccoli. Thank you so much for watching with us and hanging out today. And if you haven't already, make sure that you download our free app from Seed to Spoon. It's available in the iOS and Android stores, and it will help walk you through over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, including cauliflower, and it'll help, I mean, it'll touch base on everything we talked about today, plus give you more details about like pests and more, more information about companion planting, things like that. So make sure that you check that out. It'll help you with your success that you have for the season. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.